Tuesday talk. I'm always happy when it's Tuesday and we get to visit. So I'm getting after some projects that have been sitting around for a while and um, in my mind so I can clear my mind of uh, these projects. My earring's upside down. <laughs> there, <laughs> I can clear my mind of that now. I wonder if that was like that all day. I doubt it. So anyway, um, one of the things that I want to do tonight is um, these things, like I said, have been on my mind, these ladle um, sconces. So this is what I'm talking about. It's a piece of, I think this is called a plinth block, maybe, uh, or maybe those are the square things that have the circles that go up at the top of the doors. I think that's what that is. Anyway. These are the pieces that um, went around doorways and they were at the bottom of the doorway because they looked like um, the molding, usually the, um, the baseboard. So, hi Kathleen, welcome to Tuesday Talk. <laughs> so anyway, I need your opinion. So I love this just as it is. I think the patina is really, really cool. And um, so Dee at our shop today said, no, I think you should paint it. And I think, you know, for as much as I love to paint, I love the patina on this one just as it is. So um, now I added, and I'll take this off so you can see it. Don makes these wonderful hangers. So I glued that on there. But um, all I did was actually drill through the ladle. Um, just a regular a drill, drill bit that calls for metal. And then I used um, upholstery tacks, and I think that looks really, really cool. So what do you think? What's your opinion on the paint? Do you think it should be uh, painted or not? Um, I, just, I just think it's really cool. Let me see if I can uh, figure out how to use this fire starter. You like it? Okay, cool. I just think the patina on it's really cool. But I have another one here, and I painted that one. Okay, see? Little candle in there. I love it. I really do. Okay, <laughs> I'll blow that candle out. So, I have another one here, and another ladle. But we're going to do something fun with this one. We're going to use Dixie Dirt. But we're going to come back to that. So, um, thank you, Chasing Sunshine by Veronica. <laughs> I'll have to check out your, uh, your channel. Unless I, who knows, I may be already subscribed. So another thing I'm going to do is a letter. So I already put a coat of silk on here and it's drying, but this is what it looked like. Now, it's funny because I probably would have uh, done something like this. But I just kind of thought it looked like it came from, you know, Ross or something, which it probably did. I got got it at a yard sale, but it's nice and sturdy and it stands up. But we're going to uh, probably put some Dixie Dirt on this as well. Um, where did I get the ladle? Boy, that's a good question. Um, people give me stuff, honestly, all the time. Um, it may have come in with some silverware, like the... People just ask me because we have um, a lot of vendors in our shop and we have some scrap metal artists. And um, so whenever anyone asks me if I want silver, lots of times I'll say yes, because, you know, I end up giving it to them or it could have come from a yard sale I, actually, or a flea market. I'm thinking actually this summer because I knew I had those two blocks um, in the basement. I've had them, you know, forever. And I loved this idea and I think I got these two at the flea market so um so anyway we're going to revisit that one uh, but here's another thing that's been in the basement it's this really <laughs> I guess you would say gaudy um 60s thing now I seriously was fooled because I thought this was not necessarily real marble but um, I thought it was just kind of a, I don't know, just a, a surface that was on there. 
So boy, was I wrong. I started looking at it and I see that it is wood. You can see by the layers back here that it is uh, laminate. And then I saw it's also contact paper. Huh. So I really got fooled on that. Yeah, that is really cool, but I am going to take this contact paper off and I'm going to paint. So I, I hope that's not breaking anyone's heart. <laughs> Kathleen, is this disappointing you? <laughs> Okay, I can mail this to you if you like that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to clean this off a little bit, and then I'm going to get busy painting this. So I'm going to put the screen down because I want to get after some details on this and see if we can get some Dixie dirt on these pieces. Okay, um, I'll turn it around this way, and we'll paint some of that detail. I think I'm going to use um, I'm going to use manatee gray. That's what I used on that one block because um, the chalk paint dries a little quicker. And hopefully we can get uh, some of that dirt on there. If not, we'll put it on the one uh, sconce. And then, of course, when I finish my projects, I always show you later. But. You know, it's it's silly for this to be sitting, you know, in the basement or something when it could be out on the sales floor. So, so that peeled up a lot of paint with it, and I did clean it earlier. So I'm just kind of getting after some of this paint that's left. And we're just going to paint over it, give it some texture, pay homage to the old paint that's on there. Yeah, so this was probably like a home interior thing from, I don't know, 60s or 70s. I'm going to try to paint um, this way. Now this, now this is probably that Sirocco stuff. But I love painting it because it really makes it look really high end, especially when you use a colored waxes on it or in in this case if we get if it dries enough that's why I want to get painting it right away we can do some Dixie dirt on there Dixie dirt is kind of a um like not used enough <laughs> in my estimation um I love it if anybody's ever tried it let me know if not I hope I can introduce you to a brand new product that you'll enjoy using but it's really uh, comes in a couple different colors it comes in charcoal um, ash and earth I believe and it's just like a powder and I'll show it to you as soon as we get to that part but right now I'm just trying to get some detail on that oh okay so this is uh, years ago home decor you sold home decor years ago or this is something that you remember that they sold um from home decor or is that what it's called home decor that doesn't sound right home interiors <laughs> so i know you can't see when i have that flipped up like that but i can't see to paint it so <laughs> So I hope your week is going well so far. Oh, they did sell it. Okay. You know, I find a lot of home interiors things that nowadays that just kind of, I think a little bit of chalk paint and they're definitely up to today's aesthetic. And some people just like them as is. But anyway, sometimes it's too early to tell if your week's going well, and sometimes you know by this time how it's going. <laughs> so far, I'm doing, I'm having a good week. Very busy time right now. I have all kinds of um, custom orders to do, and in-home um, painting. I'm doing some, I have a couple kitchens lined up. One probably before Christmas and one after. And um, I 
like I said, Christmas gifts for people, um, doing some cool projects. Can't wait to show you guys, but you know, I don't, I won't tell because I don't want to spoil anybody's surprises just in case. I'm going to flip this around a minute and take a look at it just to see if I'm missing anything. And I can see that I am. I'm using a French tip brush. This is a well-loved French tip brush. Um, <laughs> I could probably do with a new one. Um, but it's great for getting in detailed areas like that. So, sorry I have this away from you, but I just want to get the rest of the detail on here. And I think we're getting one coat coverage with this. I think it looks great. The top might be a different story because of the old paint that was on there. I don't know whether to do it a different color. I'm thinking I'm just going to do it all one color. Then it sort of looks more like a wooden, carved wooden shelf rather than, um, you know, the good old Sirocco shelf. Alright, so just coating that top. Like I said, it's going to leave some... I didn't sand it, so my bad, but I, I still might put a coat on there. But, you know, chalk paint gives you that texture. You can kind of build it up, so um, sometimes it just adds to the character. <laughs> Okay, and I have a bristle in there. Get that out. Okay. Okay, so we've got a coat on the entire piece. That took, what, a few minutes, right? So I'm going to set this one aside, and then we're going to come back to our uh, sconce. So I have a plastic bag here that I'm putting my brushes in, in between coats. And that way I don't have to wash them out right away. This other brush that I have in here that I'll be using for the silk is, uh, I'll have to show you that one, it's really a cool brush. So one of the Zebra brushes. Okay, so let's come back to our to our block so again all I did was if you can see if I can get a focus on there drilled a little hole in there and down here okay and that will sit on here actually I think we had it this way this will sit on here and again it holds a, a candle so we're going to make this look really cool. So first we're going to use some clear wax. Now this is Dixie Belle wax and I know it's not in the original container. The reason why it isn't is because I used uh, the container in my Zoltar. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Halloween challenge, check it out because um, that was my, uh, what I did for the challenge was my Zoltar booth. And there's so many good videos in that uh, challenge. There's so many cool furniture pieces and we're all gearing up to do some Christmas uh, challenges as well. So um, I just finished one today and that one will, um, I think be December 18th and then um, working on one that's gonna come out on Black Friday. Speaking of Black Friday, oh, all that craziness is coming up. Um, of course, we'll be open at La Vintage Decor um, Black Friday and Shop Small Saturday from 9 to 6. And then um, we're going to be open that Sunday from 12 to 4. Okay, I was going to wipe this off, but I think I'm actually going to leave going to leave that on right now um, because we're going to use our Dixie Dirt. 
So what I have here is charcoal, okay? And, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm using somebody's ashes or something because it's, it's really, you can use your fingers if you want and just sprinkle. If you can see that, I'll put the screen down a little bit. And just sprinkle along there. And then I'm going to take a brush. This is a real stiff bristle brush. I'm going to make a lot of noise. Let me see what else I have here. I have some other brushes that are not that not going to be that loud. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> so I'm just tapping that in, and the wax that's in there is going to hold on to it. Okay. Now I want, I'm just going to, now I, this is another way you can do it is just dip your brush in there. But I want to hit this line too here and I want to get all around the edges. I left the edges of this just like they were because I thought that was cool. I just like to honor the old architecture. I have a piece of furniture in the store. Um, it's a china cabinet that I did in uh, the bee beehives and little bees. Look at my fingers. <laughs> um, and that I used a lot of Dixie dirt on. So then you just kind of rub it in. And it's pretty authentic dirt. <laughs> Now I have a lot on here. Um, if I wanted to, I could probably use a little more wax and pull a little bit of that off. But I kind of think it looks kind of cool. What do you guys think? I'll pull this up a little bit. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. I kind of like it. Okay, so that's how easy it is to use dirt. Now let me get this dirt out of my way or I'm going to have dirt on everything. Okay, and again, I put one of those things on the back of this one too. I think I can probably pull that off. So, um... And those things you can't buy. We should probably sell them. Um, Dawn uh, Gardini, she makes them on her Glowforge. I think dirt is just kind of a another alternative, kind of like to wax. I think it looks really authentic. So, <laughs> so these things probably are going to look like they came out of some old castle or something okay so I have these holes here and what I'm using on these is furniture tacks um, I'm gonna spare you uh, the noise so I'll, I'll nail them in later but I'm just gonna see if I can press it in a little bit so you can see it oh yeah it let me press it right in I might have to add some glue in there so it's more uh, secure but uh, the other one I used the hammer. This hole isn't lining up quite as nicely, which is good because um, if I do the hammer, it'll make a lot of noise. But maybe I'll tap it there just a little bit, just so you, so I can hold it up. Is that really loud? Um, Okay. I'm probably going to put some glue on that one. But look, all done. Isn't that cool? I love these things. So we'll get both of them out here side by side. So I think that's a cool upcycled project. Like it? Okay, cool. I'm glad. All right. Now let's uh, move along. So our um, 
the material shelf is probably still drying. Um, let's try some dirt on this. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to do the same thing and whoop, maybe not use quite so much. Now I have a little bit of the dirt on there because I brushed over it. So that's not a bad thing. We'll just kind of get that off of there. We'll grab some more wax. This would be cool too to um, do a little gilding wax on. I didn't actually, I don't think I have any here. Um, so I only painted the top of this. I plan on painting the side, but I'm just going to demonstrate the the dirt just so that you see what it does on a different piece. And like I said, there's different colors of this too. So um, you don't always have to use it. This one's really dark and this is going to be a big contrast uh, with, with this white. So this color is, um, I used silk and white cap. So one of my uh, customers that just uh, decided to do our kitchen chose white cap. So um, here's another thing you can do is just kind of uh, tap the brush so you're not really getting a whole lot on. But I end up using the brush anyway to just kind of work it in the details. So I'm going to kind of try to work it in the low points and then wipe it back off of the high points. Because this has a lot more detail, obviously, than that other piece. But boy, I really, really like the way they came out. So yeah, I've just been in a mood that I'm going through all my stuff and um, just just want to clear some of it out and, you know, just make these projects that I have on my to-do list and just, just get them done. And, you know, it's time to uh, sell some things before the holidays. And um, these are definitely some unique pieces that... Um, that are just going to be one of a kind. Okay. You can see that. I want to make sure you can see it. And I'm just going to wipe back on that. Like I said, leaving the leaving the dirt in the low points. The wax allows me to do that. And this would be one that would be really cool to come back with some gilding wax. matter of fact probably gonna do that okay so I see a lot more dirt over here um, I can certainly come back and put a little more over here just gonna kind of do like I did before and just kind of tap some in there And I only put one coat on, and actually some of that, a little bit of that blue is coming through, which is kind of cool. So again, I can wipe this back, and if I get too much, I'm going to take my wax, because like over here, now it looks really dark. So I'm just going to take some more wax, and... I'll just use the brush and just kind of go over that. I'm going to get a clean paper towel. And just wipe it off the high points and leave Leave the dirt in the low points. What do you think? You like the uh, like the Dixie dirt? I kind of wish I'd have brought a couple more colors home because this one is um, super dark. But that's okay. I think um, this one would look really cool with some 
um, silver gilding wax maybe um, or gold of course this piece might even look good with some brown wax too so yeah I think I'm gonna do that and I don't have any here so I'll, I'll finish this one up at the store and um, get back to you on that but see how this stands it's really a heavy piece it's really nice okay all right so um tell you what we'll just flip this over since it's dry and we'll go ahead and put some more paint on here um, as our other piece is drying and we'll take a look at that so um if you are local, uh, there's a show it's all called Around the Alleghenies, and it's on Fox 8 and 23. So I think it's on 23 tonight at 10, 10, 15. Okay. 10, 15 or 10, 30. It was on today at noon on 8. So I did a Thanksgiving uh, segment. So that's going to be on um, if you haven't tried silk it is an awesome paint I love it I should probably paint these sides and everything so this brush it looks like a triangle I have it probably misshapen but but when you get it it looks like a triangle and it's so cool because it has all these corners that you can you can uh, use to your advantage like this see I just get right in there with that corner so uh, are you guys cooking for Thanksgiving I probably will be. I never know who else is going to be here. One of my sons has COVID right now. So hopefully he'll be recovered by then. I think he's probably, his test just came back. So he was sick before. So I think he's probably almost done with his symptoms by now. But, um, and I had it. So I have the good antibodies. So, <laughs> but I hope my grandkids don't get it Erin had a vaccine so she should be okay hard to tell anyway that's my least favorite subject and I brought it up sorry <laughs> sorry about that I'm always saying I'd love to have a conversation where that word doesn't come up. And I brought it up. And I hope I'm not missing any of your comments because I get involved. <laughs> I think I like this A a lot better now, being white. I think it's I think it's cool. So the like I said, the other side here, I'll lay it down on this side. You're vaccinated. Yes, ma'am. Looks good. Okay. I will be getting vaccinated just because I wasn't before. Um and when you have it, boy, you start thinking about people and you know, that's why I'll be getting it. My husband has to for work, but he still got it. Um, so, but we were, he works away a lot, so I didn't get it from him. So it was, we spent a lot of time apart at the beginning of the year because then he couldn't come home because he was quarantining. Andy couldn't come home when I had it because I was quarantining. So, yeah. <laughs> so.
So I think lots of people are super excited about Christmas this year because people are going to actually be able to get together for the most part, we hope. Okay, so this one I'm going to set aside because we have it on the side that was already drying. So just get that out of the way. I see I missed a lot in the middle there. Um, I'm going to come back with my brush real quick and get that. I know I'm off camera, but it bugs me if I missed a spot, you know. When you turn it the other side, that's when you see it. <laughs> You guys probably saw it already, but I got it now. All right. Oops, I missed, missed your comments. Let me see if I can touch the screen and get it back. Um, nope, I missed it. It kind of faded away. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's get this thing back. This big mamma jamma. All right, let's see if we're dry enough to try some dirt. I think. Let's go for it. Um, sometimes when you put wax on, if your paint isn't quite dry, it'll pull some of the paint off which in this case, I don't think will be a bad thing. So uh, because of the fact that we had that, you know, cool kind of gold tone underneath, it'll bring some of that back if we, if we get some of the wax off. So prepare myself for upside down waxing. I think what I'm gonna do is just do this. See the lovely underside here? <laughs> But that way you guys can, or I can see, and I'll tilt it forward too. So just, I can see there's a little bit of wet paint, but we all know that I don't um, use any sort of hair dryer or heat gun at home because <laughs> I blow fuses. <laughs> so that's why I try to paint a little bit ahead sometimes so that we get we get mostly dry so we can carry on yeah if I don't catch your comments now I'll, I should be able to answer later I'll probably put another coat on the top later uh, do I sell Dixie Belle? Yes, I do. The only thing, and I missed the comment above it. Um, yes, I I will be putting my um, affiliate link in the description box um, after the video posts. Okay, so if you you know my the affiliate link means that you order directly from Dixie Belle, but I get a little kickback, but it doesn't cost you any more. So that's cool because it, you know, helps my small business and um, doesn't cost you any more. The only thing that was sore from injection. Okay, Kathleen, I saw that. All right. Um, okay, so. Okay, so I'm just kind of brushing that on there. Like I said, I might end up pulling back some of the paint off if I rub it a little bit hard. So that's what that's looking like. Wipe a little back and see see what that looks like. Yep, 
You know, if I didn't want to pull any paint off, I would. <laughs> I would. Be. But now that I kind of want to pull some paint back, none's coming back. Um, well, yeah, I see a little bit, which is really, really cool. Actually, this would be a good one to take a little baby wipe to and do a wet distress and pull some of that gold. I like it. This is, um, again, this color is manatee gray. Can you get it in the manatee gray? Okay, I'm going to get some more dirt. You know, this might be fun to do like some decoupage or something um, on the top of this piece, maybe. Or maybe just keep it simple. You know, people, I mean, I love to do, it's like artistry furniture painting. But a lot of times people buy more simple things, especially for gifts. Simple colors, keep it, you know, white or gray. Um, but sometimes I just can't do white or gray or black. I love black. I love to paint a lot with black. Um, I think you can get some really cool effects sometimes just by putting one coat on. Um, you can see the wood grain through depending on what you're painting with. get this side over here we got a lot done oh, okay I see I need to wipe back and get some of these details underneath the top here whether you can see what I'm doing here yeah I'm pulling back a little bit of the gold and I see it it looks cool this is definitely messy um, You know, why do you think they call it dirt? <laughs> but I'm really, I'm loving the effect. I'll hold it up closer, and I don't know whether you can see any of the gold or not, but I'm definitely getting some of it. I'm going to get the rest of this underneath here. Wow, I, uh, I'm really liking this piece. a little bit of wet paint <laughs> okay I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it I'm gonna turn my camera up all right what do you think I think it looks pretty cool there's a couple you know when I look at it in the camera I see some areas that are a little bit darker than others But actually, some of that along here, if you can see, is the gold. You like it? <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, if you can see that little bit of gold peeking through, which is kind of cool. But this would be a good one to come back with gilding wax, definitely. Or, you know, bring some of that back. So, looks like on this side we need a little bit more up towards the top. Um, A lot down there and not so much up here. Okay. I really like it. I think it turned out cool. So, can you imagine this shelf and maybe our cool um, sconce? Definitely two different uh, styles, but the uh, ornate 
silver kind of brings it together. So, well, I hope you like what we did tonight. We've just been on for 40 minutes. Um, so just to tell you a couple things that are going on with my channel real quick. Um, so we're growing all the time and um, I'm going to be adding some things like an Amazon wish list in my description box. Um, not maybe not tonight, but um, you know, going forward and uh, there's other things too. There's supers and stuff, stuff that I haven't even taken advantage of yet. So I'll be looking at that and they really are just things that, you know, if you want to help out a small growing business, there are ways you can help. So um, I'll be talking about those a little bit more in the future. Um, my Thursday video, I was going to talk about um, kids crafts. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Um, we did some skinny Santas. So there's going to be a video with my grandkids. And they did an excellent job. But I'll show you. Theirs were glued on, but... I used some clay and made some Santa, whoops, that's his feet, <laughs> Santa hat and beard and mustache. They did such a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but they, um, I can't wait to show that video. So not exactly sure what we're doing on Thursday. Um, and I think on Saturday, it's... Um, a changing table that's just like something that came from a store and we're just making it look more like the furniture in the rest of the room well, for my clients so all right well thank you so much for joining tonight I'm gonna let you go and uh, I will put that description link in or my affiliate link in my description box I hope you have a wonderful night and the rest of your week all right take care Bye-bye.